Yo, what is up, you guys? Realistic Gaming here. Today, we are back in some Roblox scary Christmas stories. Oh, man, it's been a while since we've played some scary stories, but we have managed to find some. Hey, what's up, squad? I'm here with the squad, as you can see. What's up, my boys? And Lacey the Evil Dolls. <laughs> And as we all know, Christmas is like, what, three days away, two days away, something like that. I'm lost right now. I don't know what day it is, but all I know is that it is this Friday. So, yeah, it's like two days from now. And let me know what you guys are anticipating, like, for the most gift you expected to receive or whatever it is that you want for this Christmas. And I also wish you guys have a blast with your family and a fun time. All right, so let's begin with the Christmas story, Christmas 2020. Oh, man, this cannot be good, right? Christmas 2020? Oh, brother. All right, uh, this year is the worst. A lot of kids think I don't exist and I can't do anything about it. Oh no, poor Santa Claus. It seems like the kids are not believing in him anymore. That is kind of messed up, bro. <laughs> Santa getting poor. Oof, there's no way Santa can get poor. Oh, look at the tree. They have a little Slender Man and a little rake. Oh, the peanut SCP-173. That's a nice looking tree, man. All right, yo, man. Everybody tell Santa what you want for Christmas in the comments right now. Okay, well, let's start my job and start giving these kids presents under the trees. All right, so here he goes. He's about to start wrapping up the presents. But where are the elves? Like, doesn't Santa have elves to wrap the presents for him? Oh, man. Hey, get off of Santa Claus. That's disrespect, man. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Oh, what's wrong with that light? I'll go look at it. Oh, the light is kind of flickering, my boy. Need to check that out, man. <laughs> Give now, Santa. All right, so it seems like he's in his workshop just uh, doing, going on with his day. I think I, we have a minor power outage because this year a lot of people want a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. Oh, man, that is true, man. Hey, but PS5 all the way. Let me know what you guys want, a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. Oh, somebody is knocking at the doors. Go to open the door. Who could it be, man? Maybe it's Mrs. Claus or something. All right, let's go check it out, man. Some of you may ask, who is behind the doors? Well, I'll explain it later. Hey, George, what's the matter? I heard you have some problems with wrapping the gifts. I will help you out. All right, who is at the door? George. Oh, George the Owl. All right, well, weren't we just talking about the owls? It seems like one came to uh, help Santa Claus. <laughs> He's late for practice? Yes, he is. All right, okay. On the table, you can find the scissors. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, he does have the little elf ears pointing out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. So Santa now has an elf to help him out in George's mind I can finally kill Santa and ruin this year's Christmas. Yo, what is what did he just say that? What is wrong with George? He wants to stab Santa Claus in the back. Oh my god Santa Claus turn around Poor Santa. He doesn't even know George the elf is trying to kill him right now <laughs> George what's wrong? Why are you holding the scissors in your hand right behind me? Uh Oh, oh he turned around Dude, that is so creepy. He just tried to stab Santa behind his back without him even knowing. He almost caught him, though. George won't answer at all, and we'll act like nothing happened. I will give you a small hint so you won't be confused. Dude, what? Oh, no, the lights went out. This cannot be good, guys. The power went out, and George is out here acting like a maniac trying to kill Santa Claus. Oh, poor Santa Claus. Okay, I'll go turn the backup generators. I'll be back in five minutes. Oh! Dude, um, I think George is being possessed right now by an evil demonic spirit or something. <laughs> Santa, get out of here, man. Santa doesn't even know he's being possessed. George, what's wrong? Oh, he fell. I don't know. I fell on the floor by accident. Oh, no. All right, some paranormal activity stuff is going on with George over here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hmm, I'm wondering why the news are saying that I'm getting poor. Do you know anything about it? I don't really know somebody had to write fake news or something like that. Yeah, they're spreading some fake news, man. How could they do that to Santa Claus? Santa Claus would never go broke. <laughs> you guys are a joke, man. All right. Oh, see, George hit Santa with the broom. Oh, yo, he did not hit Santa. He stabbed Santa in the chest with the broomstick. Oh, no, poor Santa Claus. Dude, look at George. What's going on over here, bro? This guy's all evil, man. All right, let's keep on going. Let's see what happens. At least it was a dream. Oh, oh, wow. They got us there for a second. <laughs> it was a dream the entire time. But what? Oh, dude, George is creeping outside his window. I don't know if it was a dream or not because this guy is creeping over here, man. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go see what happens. 
Let's go see what happens. Oh, uh, well, I'll go read some books because I'm bored and Christmas is over. All right. Oh, where did George go? Dude, he vanished. He was at the window just a moment ago. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, man, this can't be good. What is this sound? Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, hey, Santa. Oh, my God, George. George is back and he is possessed as ever. And it was not a dream. Maybe his nightmare was trying to tell him, warn him ahead of time that George the Alpha's being was evil and was going to come and kill him. Dude, he's like force choking him or something. Oh, no, poor Santa Claus. I think my job's over. Now I can control the whole world with my powers. Oh no, George. George wanted to take over Christmas. And it seems like he did because Santa's dead. My boy is dead over here, man. Rest in peace to Santa Claus, man. Alright, for our next story, we got the rake. Oh, this should be awesome. Sleeping. Alright, here they are in bed. Why are they both bald, bro? <laughs> We got some baldies right here sleeping in bed. Sorry, I thought you were asleep. Oh, it seemed like she farted or something. Oh, dude, I see some glowing eyes. You guys see that, right? Oh my god. Bro, wake up. There's the rank is over here. And they are clueless. Ah! Uh oh, what happened? Oh, it seems like they have. Oh no, the rank is right there. <laughs> Yo, he just managed to barge in their bedroom. Where they were sleeping. Get out! Our kids! Oh no, the children. Go check on the children. No, wait! Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this seems like the rake is gonna go after the children or something. Oh, this is not good. Oh, he just made a giant hole in the wall. It's like in the cartoons where they like run out and they barge through a wall. <laughs> oh no, alright, so where did the rake go? Uh, Clark, can you hear me? Wait, what happened? What happened to Clark? Bruh, did like the rake get her or something? I thought he ran out of there. Doctor, will she make it? She has 30 minutes of her life. <laughs> Mom, what was that thing? I don't know, baby. Oh my god, will I be okay? Yes, Clark, you can trust me. Dude, did you not hear that you had like 30 minutes left to live? <laughs> What happened to her, bro? I thought the rake didn't even get her. There was no hope for her. Oh, that is kind of messed up to say. Well, she's in the room. Why would you say that? <gasps> oh, no. Rest in peace, Clar. Oh, her kids are here at her funeral. Dude, this is so sad. What happened to her? Did she get hit by a car? Because they clearly show the rake running out of the house. Loud breathing. <gasps> oh, no. Dude, the rake is back. He's back in the bedroom. How did they not like hear him? He was with me. Oh no, what happened? Oh, oh, she had a camera in the bedroom. Oh, I see. Bro, she has a camera recording in the bedroom. And then she went back to look at the footage. And she saw the rake on the camera. <laughs> oh no, bro, this is not good at all. Oh. Oh man. Hey, what is he doing out here? Yo, what are you doing out here by yourself in the forest, bro? Oh, man, we got the rake right here. He's lurking. He's lurking, man. He's going to eat that poor man's alive. All right, let's see what happens. Wait, I'm lost. Somebody show me the way. Okay, I think you go towards the light. Oh, that was just my imagination. Bro, why? what is going on here? Hold on. I think we're supposed to go back here towards the light. Towards the red light, but it keeps teleporting. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right, we found the way back. Uh, she had horrible visions of the rake for her whole life. She never had good dreams at night, and she never had a husband or children. Wait, what? So that was all phony? She never had a husband or children? So it seems like she she's crazed or something. She says that she's having visions of the rake. The police called special units to find the rake. The rake was found in an abandoned mine. He was escorted to a special site with very high security procedures. Oh, so they managed to find the rake and they took him to the SCP Foundation. They had to take him to the SCP Foundation. There's no other way, no other place they would have taken him. Hey, what's up, my boy? <laughs> my boy's getting lit out here, man. <gasps> All right, and for our final story, we got Slenderman. Oh, good old Slenderman. All right, welcome to Scary Stories. All right, there's no dialogue here. So as you can see, we got three friends camping out and about in the woods. 
for some odd reason. Jasper, guys, it's getting dark. We should go to sleep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but didn't you tell the horror story? Okay, then. Alright, so they're about to tell some spooky, scary stories in the middle of the forest. Let's see how it goes. One night, there was weird sounds outside the windows. When I heard the sound, I looked out of the window. We found that it was a military convoy. They were heading to the nearest forest. Alright, so that's some start. Alright, let's see how it goes. After 10 minutes, we heard screams outside the windows. They were screaming and shooting for one minute. Dude, they were... Oh my god, after another 10 minutes, we heard the sound again. Dude, they were shooting for a whole minute. That's a lot. Oh man. They were going very fast, so the sound was louder. The soldiers were covered in blood. That night, I wasn't sleeping well. Oh man, alright, so it seemed like the soldiers came across something very horrible. Because it did say they were covered in blood. Guys, I'm going to sleep. Okay, good night. Good night. Alright, so he's like probably freaked out. He's like, heck nah, man. I'm not staying awake for this. I'm gonna go get some sleep, man. Why didn't you tell me about this? I was scared, and now I'm too scared because we're in this horrible forest. So she was actually terrified of the incident she witnessed, and she didn't tell them to right now. I think this is possibly the worst spot to tell them. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh my god, Slenderman's right there. Yeah, it was just the burnest of the- Oh no, Slenderman's right there. Jasper, behind you. Oh no, Jasper dead. Because Slenderman's out here, man. What was that? Oh, he took him. Why are you screaming? This dude just woke up. He, he, he is gone. Huh? Oh no, so he did take Jasper. Oh, this cannot be good, bro. You guys gotta go fan your brody, man. Ella, he just can't vanish. Come on, he just can't vanish. Come on, let's go find him. You're right. Do you have a flashlight? Yeah, I have one, but... But what? But, but, what? He's not finishing, but it's in the car. Come on, bro, you left a flashlight in the car. Oh my god, David, why? <laughs> why would you leave it in the car, bro? Come on. <laughs> Oh man, hold on, we can use my phone. But the battery will be dead if we don't act quick. Come on, David, we need to go. Oh, okay, I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Wait, we should call the cops first. There you go, that's what I was about to say. Okay, what is the number? Bruh, <laughs> are you dumb? <laughs> she really asked the number to 911 to call the cops. <laughs> oh man, alright, so I guess we're calling the cops now. Oh, uh, to be continued? You gotta be kidding me. They just left us like that in the cliffhanger. Come on, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't believe she really asked for the, uh, the phone number to call the cops. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Well, those were some Christmas scary stories in Roblox. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Yes, yeah, some man didn't remember to sub to real breaks your head. What? Hey, leave me alone. I always get bullied, man. Well, happy holidays, and I will see you on the next one.